no matter how much America attempts to shut down Huawei by alleging they are a threat to national security, the Chinese firm continues to thrive. Despite being handicapped, Huawei continues to innovate and overcome obstacles. With word that Huawei has filed a patent for 7 nanometers chip production, they've once again surprised America, and the reason is simple, if they're successful, the ASML monopoly is doomed. How exactly have they been able to bypass use to make such a cutting-edge chip? Find out in today's video. Even though Huawei is hampered by a shortage of UV lithography machines from ASML owing to American constraints, they continue to innovate and achieve new heights. At this point, it's almost as if the ban and restrictions put in place by the United States of America have caused more good than harm, because when you really think about it, would they have been striving to be so technologically independent if it didn't happen? First off, why don't we briefly talk about the journey so we can understand Huawei's marvelous resurgence a whole better? In recent memory, Huawei was at the absolute peak of its powers. Not only were they Samsung's, point blank, biggest rivals as far as smartphones with the Android operating system was concerned, the Chinese manufacturer even went as far as topping the global smartphone sales. However, things went on a dramatic U-turn for the worse when the American government drew critical first blood by completely banning Huawei from making any smartphone sale in the giant nation of America. Shortly after, they got banned from gaining access to any of the critical equipment required to make cutting-edge silicon-based chips, and of course, we're talking about the all-important extreme ultraviolet lithography machines made by ASML. As you probably already know, chips are the brains of computers. If a tech company does not have access to the best chips, the outputs of their products will be much lower, and with that, would there be anyone who will actually continue to be a customer? Let's break it down to make it easier. Imagine a hospital comprising a hundred super smart, quick-thinking doctors. Because of their amazing service over the years, everyone loves the hospital and completely trusts each and every doctor. But, suddenly, a bigger hospital close by offers each and every one a better contract and salary, successfully taking everyone in the process. Should the hospital replace their lost staff with amateurs, would people still go there? Or would they go to the bigger hospital? While we leave you to answer that, just when the world thought Huawei would lay down and cry after having a crushing defeat, the company picked itself up, dusted its clothes, and went back to business. But should America really be worried? A few weeks ago, Huawei made a stunning announcement that their sales in the last quarter of 2022 were around $27.4 billion, marking a wonderful growth of up to 7.2% compared to the previous year. Also, according to a report from Bloomberg, the annual sales of the Chinese manufacturer were around $92.3 billion, marking another increase from the previous year as well. This leads us to the burning question, how on earth are they achieving such wonderful growth despite staggering reductions in smartphone sales across the globe? Dash with the exclusion of China? Well, it's simple, they opened alternative revenue streams. They even sold patents. According to Alan Fan, Huawei's global head of intellectual property, the company sold over 20 patent license agreements last year. But where are we going with this? With the money coming in. China has been pumping a lot of it into research and development of alternatives to UV lithography machines for the sole purpose of bouncing back as hard as possible. To further buttress that, let's look at what Eric Xu, the rotating chairman of Huawei, said, shall we? According to him, in 2022, we successfully pulled ourselves out of crisis mode. US restrictions are now our new normal, and we're back to business as usual. The macro environment may be rife with uncertainty. But what we can be certain about is that digitalization and decarbonization are the way forward, and they're where future opportunities lie. Huawei has tirelessly spent the past few years developing, researching, and scanning various technologies that can adequately serve as a major alternative to their now banned Western options. But guys, here's the big news. Huawei has now confirmed they've managed a monumental breakthrough in the UV lithography process with China's National Intellectual Properties Administration. With that in mind, if everything goes according to plan and the patent application succeeds, the Chinese manufacturer would no longer need ASML or any other Western tech to make less than 10 nanometers advanced chips. Curious about what the patent application covers? Here's the tea. According to reports, a short while ago, the company filed the patent to the property office covering a UV lithography scanner. The components of the scanner include a 13.5 nanometers UV light generator, the lithography system, 
a set of reflecting mirrors, and some control management technologies. It's believed that should Huawei successfully build the scanner, even with an adequate level of productivity, they should easily be able to produce chips around 7 nanometers. However, one thing that must be stated is that filing a patent is completely different from actually building it. As a matter of fact, even with a UV tool already at hand, chip manufacturers must still critically analyze so many factors required for high volume production. Having said that, patience is the watchword. Currently, UV scanners with a 0.33 numerical aperture are at the peak of semiconductor production tools. Over the years, so many companies have tried to make such a tool, but only ASML has been able to succeed. The crazy part is that it took them over a decade of development and even financial support from Samsung, TSMC, and Intel. Currently, only TSMC, Samsung, SK Hynix, Intel, and Micron employ or intend to use UV scanners, and here's something even more amazing. Did you know only those companies, as mentioned earlier, have planned to make or even made technologies capable of taking advantage of UV scanners? It's totally clear that there is a big demand for UV scanners to potentially exist in China, but thankfully, Huawei is strongly addressing the issue. Alas, it's going to take a lot of work for Huawei. At the moment, no one can confirm if the Chinese manufacturer can make an UV lithography machine with over 100,000 components. Creating such high-end 7 nanometers chips requires collaboration and a ginormous supply chain. But, right now, Huawei has been investing in various firms involved in electronic design automation, materials, equipment, foundry, packaging, and testing phases of semiconductor chips. Would they really be able to achieve their aspirations? Guys, only time will tell. But one thing that's clear is that Huawei's UV patent would completely change the game for China and high-end chip creation. Huawei can use Qualcomm Snapdragon chips to make 4G devices, but in regards to making powerful, energy-efficient chips, China gets totally beaten by Samsung and TSMC. But Huawei's patent is just what China SMIC needs to match up to Samsung and TSMC foundry. With everything that has been said, the journey of the Chinese manufacturer has been the stuff of legends. They keep pursuing different goals while developing various forms of innovative technology. We all know the company's resolve in semiconductor chip production, but did you know they're also keen on building wafer fab equipment? Last year, they generated more patent income from royalties than they dish out to license other firms' patents, and amazingly, it's the second consecutive year they've successfully achieved that. Huawei's U.S. Chief Intellectual Property Counsel Stephen Geisler stated that the Chinese company signed or renewed 20 patent licensing deals last year. Proud of their achievements, he also talked about the pros of Huawei making such deals. He said, by getting a return on our RAND investment, it allows us to reinvest and reinvent. Ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what Huawei needs to weather the storm, especially with the crippling restrictions placed on it by the United States of America. Money is crucial for research and development, you see. The cool cash that the Chinese company makes through patent licensing may not be enough to make up for the billions of dollars in sales that Huawei has recently lost, thanks to all of the restrictions and bans placed on them, but, as we previously stated, the ban and sanctions against them have been a key component to Huawei's resurgence and determination to be completely free of the shackles of the Western world. What do you think about the extreme ultraviolet scanner patent that Huawei has recently filed? Do you think it's only a matter of time before we start seeing 7 nanometers cutting edge chips from Huawei? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, go on to the next one on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to never miss a new video from us.